to wait and see we've got uh, five great teams Stam and Shkun the favorites of course the royal champs from Rotterdam and, uh, impressive with her setting and transition to me of course her lefty on two game and uh, offensive game in general has been good stuff and it's been a good partnership well next out Japan they were superb in semi-final C earlier on today Miki Ishii on the right hand side of your picture 10 aces. We've talked about how well they've served. They've got themselves down to the Queen's end because of her serving, but they've been pretty physical as well. Eh? A more physical Japan side, maybe. The this is a team that is uh, going to pick back up right where they left off as well. Knuckle? No. A little high slap to the line. Very comfortable from uh, Shkun. There, and there is the knuckle jumbo. <laughs> It's just so deceptive, right? When that set gets tight, you t the on-two game that you go at the player who's hitting the on-two, so at least you know where the attack is gonna come from and when. That's a great shot. I don't mind if that goes out. If I'm watching that sort of uh, rip. For deep, Gonzalez with the winner. Nice to wide. Uh, here's a question for you, Rich. Has DJ Flo got a little bit cheesier now he's just catering for me and you? <laughs> and the rest of our... How are you supposed to sort of get ready for the ball to come at any time? You got to go with the tea crabs. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready, perhaps. Akiko... Ask us to stop even questioning the fitness of our players. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, just stop harping on about it and uh, let them crack on inside out 20 times every round. That's a good joust, Sir Zuda. Ishii had a quick glance up at John King. I think she might have. Why she's uh, staking claim for being one of the best teams in the world. Still on the way up. Ooh. Ishii getting a little stuffy going right there. Perfectly timed hand placement. Yeah, good leap into the angle. A little smile from Ishii. Kopnik, uh... That's a bit unfortunate for Helen Hansen, uh, I think. But again, if we've been watching Akiko, she loves coming away from the body. Now, sometimes the net can be your friend. Akiko uh, really hammering that middle well. We've seen it all night long. Just goes with that swing straight up the gut. I like this team. New team for Japan. Remember. Uh, she took a fifth uh, previously in the uh, Utrecht with uh, Yukaku Suzuki. Yeah, a little bit out of rhythm. They're going to struggle to score here, but chance for Alvarez. Oh, a bit clammy. John King suffers zero falls. <laughs> Kotnik, what a cover! Great recovery there with Team Japan. Five times Slovenian champ from the right side. It's a good high arm. That ball's inside, so she has to be really quick with the feet. Yeah, it helps to be tall there. You see the big block and then just kind of leans into that one, drives it to the corner. All around game, particularly her defensive game. And then Svenja Mueller is such a good player at such a young age. It just keeps getting better and better. Yeah. Underneath, though, uh, there's a big team in Germany uh, behind the scenes, as always. As... Great future for them. Kiko, bump set. Oh, that's a uh, good offense, good speed, Rich. Yeah, really good speed and good crack down the line from Ishii. Okay, passing slightly off Japan. They're starting to uh, push for the podium here. Oh, catch it. Oh, five minutes on the clock. Four, four and five. Trailing Stam and Schoon on just here. Julius. Just, just underneath your cabin. Chilling. How are you, sir? I'm very good. I'm very good. Thank you. What entertaining first ten minutes that was. Japan have come here to play. They're, they're here to go the whole way, I think, and uh, who knows who's going home first? I, 
I also question like Japan is such a, such a technical, such a good tactical technical team. Why they don't use it? Um, it gives so much more options, even though they they go for the quick set. But that that is just a topic you two experts can talk about in the future. <laughs> Yeah, well, I tend to agree with Julius there, Richie, don't you? Uh, I certainly agree with that, that uh, the upper hand setting, as Julius says, it really uh, opens up your offensive options. And it just uh, it allows players to kind of more easily expect where sets are going to end up, right? Which uh, adds to offensive efficiency as well. Yeah. But it's, uh, I mean, it's becoming much more prevalent, particularly on the women's side, than it has been in years past. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's got you stand. That's a great set as well, right in the spot. Ishii does a good job, Akiko also does a good job. That's, uh, well, hang on, there's a flag that's gone up maybe for the ball going the wrong side of the area, but I don't know if that is the case. It looked like it was cleanly inside the antenna. Yeah, there you go. A couple insurance points would not hurt Japan here. Yeah, it looks like Suda and Quiggle are the ones uh, that need to get down there. They're going to just have probably one more chance. And they need likely two points to overtake Helen Hansen and Kotnik, who are like to add to their total right here. And this is the showdown. Do uh, be happy with fifth place here in Doha at the moment. Trying to turn it back to Spain and uh, it's Sutter and Quiggle. You don't capitalize on your scoring opportunities. You're at the end of a, a long queue as it were before. I think everybody else feels as well that it's the Dutch girls tournament to lose. They've been so good and so consistent and seemingly so effortless. Well, the beats kick back in on your TV, but not here in the door, is it? And we go quiet and enjoy the music. I've done it like 50 times without missing, Rich. Uh, it is uh, a fascinating level of control that Katja has. Uh, excuse me, Raisa. Can she set this one, though? Uh, yes, she can. Oh, hands, uh, hands are high from Akiko! Ripper to the line, Japan get their chance. And I know that damage could sorry, Richie, we're always saying how tough they found this format of the game. But I feel like they've conquered it now with that win in Rotterdam and now uh I'll cross point again here. Yeah, it is it, it's interesting, you know. I think sometimes perhaps players overthink it a little bit. Right? I mean it's uh doesn't every you want to overthink everything or is that just me? <laughs> well, if you're an overthinker, you probably tend to think that everyone else does the same thing. Ah. <laughs> but uh you, you know, it is it's relatively simplistic in the sense that you just have to get to the queen side, which no easy task, but uh once you do, it's just a matter of settling into your side out rhythm and certainly all these teams can side out. Hansen yeah. playing higher, <laughs> trying to work one back. We were saying about that pairing uh, yesterday, weren't we, that usually Helen Hansen runs uh, and uh, Omnistad, they run all these funky offensive plays, so it take a little bit of getting used to, and it won't be perfect between Kotnik and Helen Hansen. They were saying themselves, it and they're just dominating again here. Baby line. Rishkun. Again, the control with that knuckle. Yeah, just argue that, uh, yes, we are. I mean, they've been dominant in every round. I mean, Dutchies are uh, some of the funnest people around, though, at the same time. I would agree with that. This is wild. Um, to trying to score every single point that they can to switch and I, I really like their embodiment of that concept greatness rather not being a switch I mean effort as well falls into that category this is a great remix <laughs> yeah <laughs> a little Valerie for those of you at home okay this is an overhand digging clinic going on from both sides. 
sets a little tight for Rishi. Kiko loves letting a little lingering eye and a smile drift off. Another rich landborn jam on in the background. Okay, for three straight. Another high line, that's a small play. Very crisp shot from Sonova there down the line. Yeah, and when you're that... Oh, jump back set! Oh, my word! Yeah, Kaja just barely followed through into the net on that swing, but what a highlight from Ryza Schoon, that jump back set. David Amon, Johnny Helvig would be proud of that. Yeah, that was more of an indoor, indoor style set, though, wasn't it? Like, quick feet. Pops it up. She really has got a phenomenal set of skills on that. She really does, yeah. Great control here from Alvarez. Look at the right hand touch, the left hand swatty. Level up and uh, make their make their step into that into that last 15 minute. I like that. So uh, you three times starting on zero. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like that. Uh, if you'd like to put your 100 euros to my 500 euros, yeah, I'll bet on that. Yeah. Always dynamic, intelligent, and insightful. Oh, that's coming too. And you just can't. Got it. Maybe two, depending on how quick these rallies play out. But they're chasing three and four. Japan impressive throughout. They look safe at the moment, Japan. But now, now they're chasing four all the way around if, if you're Spain. Yeah, it's a long way back. Gotcha, finding the sideline from the sideline. Wider ball this time, uh, pad over the top. It's a really smart play. The width of the ball makes the defender want to sit round on the sharper angle, and it opens up the high line over there. For the Spanish, oh, Japan. Guarantee the podium, the first podium for Japan, I think, in uh, Queen of the Court history. I could be uh, wrong with that one, but I don't think I am. And uh, the Kotnik can head and hands. Out your Spanish. Excelente. Excelente, yeah, that's uh, That's uh, a heartbreaker, as you'd say, Richie. Yeah, look, our, look, uh, at, look at that. That was a little hug around the shoulder to say, uh, we did good, but it's not going to be enough for a podium for Spain. Just couldn't get off the mark in the second 15 minutes. I mean, Everybody basically ran into the juggernaut that is Kacha and Raisa. <laughs> well, Japan trying to uh, get cute with the wide plays. We say goodbye to Spain. What a competition for them. The best we've seen from Gonzalez in this competition by a country mile, Richie, with her improvements. But also the first time we've seen Alvarez. But we're going to see her at the top of the sport for a long time. And uh, impressive throughout. Yeah, I would think so. Her, her uh, skill set has been quite impressive throughout there. So we'll get to hear that uh, momentarily down with JV. Oh, here we go. A big cross next to Spain and the German-American side. There are three teams left, Richie. 15 minutes on the clock. Or the first team to make 15 points. And it could be 15 straight if uh, Richie Schoen and Kachistan start on fire. They haven't. Japan have got a chance here. Setting wide, slap into the angle. Pushkin is there again. What a rally to kick us off, and it's a game of inches, Rich. Yeah, that just barely misses long. Yeah, I was, uh, I was gonna say, you know, you said 15 minutes. Do they have it in them? They might. There's a Clemens Vickler making 15 in a row, and I think the Dutch women will want to do the same here. I reckon they've uh, accepted the challenge laid down by the German men yesterday. And Reese guide that knuckle pokey down the line. Such good stuff. Well, one of the best servers in the competition. Ten aces coming into this round. Make that another one. Ishii. My broadcast partner, Nostradamus. I've <laughs> been compared to a lot of things in my time. <laughs> Nostradamus is a, is a first. Nice dig from Sonova there. Oh, a pokey, but Akiko's got it. Yeah, can only really hit cross court from there. Akiko now has to break. 
good for Japan. They're off the mark. And uh, every battle is key here, Richie, even if it's just for second place. I don't want to put too much on the Dutchies, but... At the moment, Japan looking strong, breaking the block, catches down, but Akiko is fast with the arm and beats Kachi for speed. Okay, Japan, this would be a turn up for the books, wouldn't it? Certainly would, yeah. And uh, remember, with just three teams, your turn comes up quick. All right, so uh, those legs start to burn. That's two in succession. Yeah, three missed serves in a row. Counts as a point, 12.37 on the clock. First to 15, or uh, the leading team after 15 minutes, Akiko just knuckles one back. And all of a sudden, we have a share for the lead here. And the top of the podium awaits the winner of this round, Rich. Indeed it does. Queen of Doha. Uh, just shutting that line shot at Temple. And you can see Sonova kind of maintaining her position deep, expecting that. Everywhere. What a Everywhere. set. What a jumbo! It is unbelievable. The recovery, great body control from Katja Stam there after the, the near collision there. And Raisa just with precision to the corner. Yeah, the jumbo was Michigan, but they're now uh, kicked out. Yeah, just, it seemed like the, the rallies were long, so it seemed like more points, but they only got two clear of the Japanese girls. Yeah, Kocknick fires long. They've had a couple of chances, Kocknick and Helen Hansen. They'll be happy with the podium, but they'll want to get as high up as possible. That's been maybe the only hiccup in the game of the Dutch, is a uh, few service errors creeping in on their attempt to get to the queen side. But they do tend to go full send in absolutely everything, don't they? Yeah, this one's got to be in, or it's a free point for Japan. Yeah, it's a much softer serve. Uh, just if you can, keep watching at home. Uh, sun straight through the guts. What a dude. All right, Akiko. Right, Kotnik, you got to put this one away. Oh, that's a, a funky play. John King uh, letting that one slide. Yes, and slide it really did through the hands. <laughs> it's so interesting because Risa continues to kind of do the pump fake as if she's going to go on two. I don't know that we've seen her really go on two at all. But then just lays up a perfect set to gotcha for the hammer. And that's perfect for the hammer. Oh, Ishii, stop that. And the cover, cover your own hitting, Ishii. But now a three ball's a yeah, troublesome position for Japan. Great rally going here. Uh, that is uh, going to take a little bit of the legs out of Japan there. Starting to screw and get to six. Yeah, six already for them. And uh, well, the team in blue, Helen Hansen and Kotnik, have certainly had their chances. Ishii, that float serve is an absolute win. Sir, I mean, Katja just let that go, and it was, what he called that, two and a half, three feet in. Just an absolute laser beam. <laughs> Mini me. Stop pumping the lasers. <laughs> On the right side, Ishii. Japan are really starting to flourish here. They are. This is... Uh, they're big hill to climb, though. They've, they've kind of struggled to put up points against Kaja and Raisa. They seem to touch everything. They're aware the shot's coming. What a thing. Ishii is uh, stubborn as she is aggressive. And no way. Ishii. Go on, Ishii. Oh. <laughs> this is. Oh, free now. Watch out. Oh, oh my oh, it's only goodness. a shot. Great read from Akiko. Ishii. Richie, what are we watching here, mate? I don't know. We're. I mean. <laughs> We're just watching bludgeoning from Kachistam and just unbelievable traditional kind of Japanese style defense out of Akiko and Ishii. Yeah, just double defending left, right. It's a little bit surprising, but it also, in my mind, speaks to how impressive it is that Nils and Clemens went 15 straight because so much has to go your way.
Clutch Ishii, I have to say, is having an insane round here. Yeah. Serving, defense, making some blocks. Her defensive effort right now is just astounding. Okay, now she has to side out. Ishii from the right, okay. Stick another one on the board. Johnny King gives him the arm. And Japan are loving this, and you never know. Akiko now the target, Richie bumps set wide, away from the body, and that two ball's been well seen. Now it's a two ball from Japan. Oh! We had to hold our breath while that ball was in the air, and it uh, finally fell wide ever so. Is a force of nature. Brilliant. <laughs> Sorry, Miki. Yep. Look who's turned up in the commentary <laughs> box. <laughs> Sharif is up here. The main man himself. It's nice to have a before's medicine. <laughs> also, he smells real. 851. Kotnik now with a chance uh, to put one up on the board. That's a real good swing. Yeah, found the end line, just the back half of it perhaps. Great depth. Helen Hansen trying to get... Because she's got to go up over the big block of Kotnik and get it down. Ishii just... Richie, you're in awe right now. Yeah, I mean, she has the answer to Raisa Schoon right now. She's digging everything. Oh, Japan. You're hanging on in there with some outrageously good plays, Japan. And maybe they have a chance. Yeah, they, they certainly have a chance. I mean, they're just three points shy of Stam and Skull, and they seem to have cracked the code a little bit. As much. We got 440 left and eight points longer stay. A great final over here. It is a great final. And there's five minutes left, well, 440 left on the clock. We all see uh, the improvement from uh, Japan and also the international team of Helen Hansen and Kocknick, but what does this last few minutes look like? Japan really need this one, Richie, I think. They take it, Richie. It. Now, they could be level here in just a minute. This is a big rally coming up. Ooh. Well, that's not ideal for the Dutchies, but it's not the end of the world either. It's not going to be uh, competition defining. Well, it is going to be interesting to see how Katja and Raisa deal with somebody on their heels. They've been pretty comfortable throughout. To say the least, in front. Well, yeah. For the Dutchies, and maybe there's a little chance here for Kocknick and Helen Hansen. Great chase from the Norwegian. That was another tremendous serve from Ishii. Yeah, absolutely. And it, another transition play. She's serving out the system, she's making the transitions. Happy days. Yeah, and they're the ones that look comfortable right now. I mean, Ishii could not look better out there. Digging everything, just calmly siding out, perfect up the middle as we've seen from Akiko all day long. Money-making material from uh, the Japanese at the moment. And the service pressure's high, but the serves keep missing. Risha Skun's gonna have a little crack at this one. It hasn't quite been going to plan, but that's a much better serve. Deep into the corner, but Akiko pops it into a good zone. Short down the middle, if you're in a fiddle. Drop it somewhere halfway in the middle, I guess. Yeah, and so now we've got that question that we're gonna need answered is what do the Dutch do? Now that they're level, their backs are against the wall a little bit. Japan are firing. And I hate to say it, I really hate to admit it, Richie. Julius Brink called it. <laughs> it, pains, it pains my soul. Doesn't really, he's a wise man. Yeah, it has been a little bit of a different version, but you have to credit Japan for the pressure that they... It's a two-horse race at the moment. Ishii is uh, cooking. What a serve that is, Richie! Game on, Richie! She just keeps coming up with laser beams to perfect locations, whether it's the deep corner sideline, the deep middle like we saw there. Okay, question is, can Japan side out when they're under pressure right now? The high line's been spotted. Rich? Surely this has got to hit the sand. It doesn't. Helen Hansen, free net, straight down the guts again. And that's a big favor for the Dutch. 
Robin Hood over here. Yeah. <laughs> Catch a stamp for me to win it. This is it, surely. 55 seconds. They gotta kick the duck. Maybe the last chance for Japan. Don't say that, Richie. This is it. This would. That seals it. But I think that we all wanted, in, an, in that it wasn't a blowout runaway. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, the right result for the competition. But what a final it's been, one to remember. Akiko is going to go with the lefty knuckle. And uh, the podium in Doha has been decided. And it's a win. It's back to back for the Dutch pairing of Katrishkam and Risha Schoen. Brilliant to go back to back. It's very tough in Queen and King of the Court to win two events in a row, Richie. But they've done it. They, they gave us the Drake. They went back to back. Right? Like Jordan 96 97. <laughs> they've done Rotterdam and Doha. And in second place, congratulations to Japan. They certainly earned it. Brilliant throughout the week. And in third, it's the international pairing from Norway and Slovenia. Son of them. And uh, although they weren't ever winning the pool, they still survived. Every section of the court, which uh, certainly is very, very accurate. Well, they can be very proud of themselves. Uh, Japan here, they've got the best results uh, in their history at uh, Queen of the Court. And uh, Akiko joining forces with Ishii looks uh, like dynamite. Uh, a brilliant performance and a great interview from Julius Brink as well down there. Looks like they've still got a little bit of their season to uh, see out before Christmas, Richie, but humble and ready for a little bit more. Yeah, and uh, one can imagine what their one goal for the next season is, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. Paris? Yeah, you would think it would be to uh, be in this exact position only in Paris in uh, late July, I think, is, is when that would happen. We got the result we expected.